Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So in the reverse, this is a card of someone who feels left out, um, someone is coming back from out from the cold. There's an energy of someone wanting to reconnect or to be close to you again. Um, this is someone where you, you may have shut this person out or they shut you out. There's an energy of wanting to reconcile and to make up again. Um, there's also an energy of someone who's feeling better about themselves enough to do this or something about reconnect re reconnecting with you could help this person's self-esteem. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, the Seven of Cups, Water Energy, and the Eight of Swords in the Reverse, Air Energy. Yeah, someone really feels victimized. Someone feels confused about the status of the connection, and they may have been waiting to hear from you. Um, this is someone with the Hanged Man being, it looks like you guys may be in no contact, or there could have been some sort of separation, and they've been waiting you know this is someone who's trying to get a different perspective on the situation um you know they if they initiated the separation they've gotten some sort of new perspective that makes them want to reconnect um but it does look like things between you and this person are unclear right now with the seven of cups but this is someone who's getting out of that victim mindset or if it was certain limiting beliefs or anxiety that was holding them back, they, they're overcoming that so that they can approach you. So let's clarify these cards, um, Virgo. We have the Seven of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of someone who wants to fight for the connection. This is someone who who feels like they, they want to defend this connection. Um, they are feeling quite protective over it. Okay, so, but they are acknowledging certain obstacles or challenges, yeah. So we have the Knight of Cups, Water Energy, the Three of Cups, Water Energy, and the Two of Cups, Water Energy. They have a lot of emotion for you. This is someone who cares about you deeply. Their feelings for you are very strong. And with the Three of Cups being here, there's again that energy of wanting to reunite with you. Um, the Two of Cups is showing up as them feeling a strong connection and um, you know, they, they are going to make you some sort of a romantic offer. This is also an energy of, with the Knight of Cups, of them pouring out their feelings. Like, they've gotten clarity on how they feel or they've gotten a changed perspective. And they're ready to be vulnerable with you. This is like wearing their heart on their sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. So we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. It does look like this person is coming back to make peace with you. They want to have this two of cups with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you.
Okay, yeah, Call, calling in your soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So this person does feel like you are a soulmate. So they feel like if they missed out on this connection, they would be missing out on a massive opportunity to be with someone who meant a lot. You know, this is someone who actually really wants to mend things with you. Okay, so let's see. So we have blissful pleasure. Follow your heart and the no, follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Okay, so someone is coming towards you. It looks like they may be following their heart. So they're taking that approach instead of being stuck in their head or allowing their their um their insecurities to lead them to stay away. Um, this is someone who is viewing you as potentially being their soulmate. You know, they feel very cold towards you. They feel and they see the potential for that two of cups with you and they're going to pursue it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a, a, a card for your advice, Virgo. We have surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Okay, so definitely someone is coming towards you. You won't have to go chasing this person. It looks like, especially if you said something to this person, it did get them thinking because with that hand man, there's some sort of change in perspective that's happening on their end and it's leading them right back to you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.